Divya is a free-spirited college student from a conservative family in Madras. Her father Chandra Moli has arranged for her marriage and tells Divya to come home early from college to meet Chandra Kumar, the prospective groom. Unwilling to get married, and hoping Chandra Kumar will reject her, she deliberately arrives home late, only to find him patiently waiting for her. She talks arrogantly to Chandra Kumar to make him dislike her but, undeterred, he says that he likes her and agrees to the marriage. Divya initially refuses, but when her father has a heart attack her mother begs her to accept the proposal to aid his recovery. Succumbing to the pressure, Divya marries Chandra Kumar, but they do not consummate their marriage. Chandra Kumar takes Divya to his house in Delhi, but she cannot accept him as her husband. When he asks her what she would like as a wedding gift, she says she wants a divorce, which shocks Chandra Kumar. Some time later, Divya tells Chandra Kumar about when she was in love with Manohar, whom she met as a college student. Manohar and his gang rob a politician's son. Divya reports Manohar to the police, and he is arrested. She later learns that the politician's son had run over a girl with his car, and Manohar stole the money to pay for the girl's medical treatment. Feeling guilty, Divya bails him out. Manohar falls in love with Divya, and tries to win her love. Although she initially rejects him, she eventually returns his feelings. Manohar is a member of a revolutionary group who plan to hold an illegal rally. Divya does not approve, and asks him not to attend, he agrees if she will marry him. On their wedding day, Manohar is falsely accused of participating in the rally and arrested. He escapes, and runs to the marriage registrar's office where Divya is waiting for him. A policeman accidentally shoots Manohar, and he dies in front of Divya. Chandra Kumar does not care about Divya's past as he wants to build a future with her. He tells Divya to either sign the divorce papers he has just obtained, or accept the anklets he bought as his wedding gift to her. Divya chooses divorce. They consult a lawyer who tells them that according to the law, since they are newly married they must wait one year to file for divorce. The couple are forced to live together for a year. Having told Chandra Kumar about her past and the reason why she was unable to accept her marriage, Divya finds herself finally free from her mental baggage and depressed state. She begins to appreciate her situation and make the most of it. Conversely, Chandra Kumar is wary of her as he fears what would happen at the end of the year when their divorce would be approved. Troubled, he distances himself from her and rejects her every move. At the same time, he slowly begins falling in love with her while denying his feelings to himself. Chandra Kumar is attacked by his company's laborers because he had suspended their union leader. Divya brings him to a nearby hospital, where he survives after receiving treatment. After he is discharged from the hospital, Divya takes care of him and realizes that she has fallen in love with him. She tries to show it by wearing the anklets which are Chandra Kumar's wedding gift to her. But before she could do this, Chandra Kumar asks her to return to Madras and books her trip, thinking she was simply being immature as she was trying to surprise him by the sound of her feet. After Divya arrives alone at the railway station, she runs into Chandra Kumar, who gives her the divorce papers that she had requested, saying they have been approved. Divya breaks down, telling Chandra Kumar that she loves him and would wait indefinitely for him to reciprocate, and tears the divorce papers. A pleasantly surprised Chandra Kumar catches up with the train which Divya is in, stops it and takes Divya home.